Hey everybody, Josh RV Nerd with Bish's RV down here uh, with Cherokee RV hanging out their 2023 sneak peek dealer display, getting a look at everything that's new. What we're going to do today, just like we've done in these other sneak peek videos, we're going to do some fast flash flyby, going through a bunch of these things real, real quick, seeing a variety of different floor plans, some bunk stuff, some non-bunk stuff. They got a couple toy haulers here, a couple destination trailers or park models as people like to call them, uh, all kinds of different stuff. And I want to hear from you guys. What do you see? What do you like? Do you like the updates in the direction that they're going here? And as we go through, is there a floor plan that you see that you? Uh, I need to make sure I get you one of my fully detailed videos later this year? And speaking of that, if you want to make sure you catch those fully detailed videos, if you're new with us, make sure you hit that subscribe button to catch along. And if you appreciate how we take the time and effort to come down here for you, hit that like button. Leave me a little note. So say, thanks, nerd. <laughs> And as we get started here, I certainly want to point out the new interior decor, how they've lightened and brightened that up. They've kind of uh, facelifted and, and made a little more cheery the exterior as well by swapping the gray for the white. I think it looks really good. But as I went through this, the first thing I want you to know is at first I thought, okay, well, they, you know, they facelisted stuff and most manufacturers haven't had a lot of new floor plans. Cherokee had like five or six new models there. And I had so much footage I ended up capturing here on these stick and tin campers. I unfortunately didn't have any time to get to the toy haulers to get to their laminated stuff before I had to move to the next display. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, see all the new stuff as it comes out. But starting here with the 16 FQ Wolf Pup, uh, they have done a couple things here to really kind of push the uh, the whole Wolf Pup family forward again. The color palette is fantastic. And this is my two cents. Like, I get that that Wolf Pup light that cascades down from the ceiling looks really cool, but doesn't it almost feel like it's a little backwards? Anyway, Black Label Series here. Did you notice the ladder mount on Wolf Pups? Wolf Pups have had a walkable roof, but nobody knew it because they had zero capacity for a ladder. A lot of manufacturers have gone with that telescopic ladder mount, and I'm really glad to see it even here on this little stuff. Now the Black Label package, what's really special about this, if you're not familiar with the Cherokee family, it's not just a fiberglass skin upgrade. It's like 26 or something like that, different things throughout the camper. I love that carpetless step, uh, step up slide right there. That's something Cherokee hadn't been doing last year. Wildwood was doing that, but Cherokee wasn't. The only place this RV had carpet was right where you step. And it just, it's like, that's the last place I actually want carpet, you know? The big 12 volt fridges and everything have uh, maintained through from last year. And remember with Black Label, you get that upgraded shower hardware. Uh, additionally, you also get the bigger uh, fajita uh, Friday fight, fart fighting fan. I can't even say my stupid stuff. This was the biggest surprise at the show, though. A tandem axle, seven foot wide wolf pup. This is completely new. They, I've never seen them even attempt anything like this before. Uh, it's a, it's a very different floor plan. The thing is, because it's such an in betweener. They kind of smashed together a couple concepts from their other RVs, and it's going to look a little funky in some places, but the fact is, this thing is a narrow body, it is smaller, it is lighter, it's something where if you don't have a heavy-duty half-ton or whatever, you're going to be able to haul this around, but when you get there, because that slide opens up, it doesn't feel terribly small. Now, a lot of things like specs on a lot of this were still to be determined. Uh, I haven't been able to get full specs on a lot of these the way that I would like, but uh, it, there's a couple little things like it has this kind of, you know, open corner bath sink area right there. But the fact is a small trailer like this sometimes doesn't have any sink for the bathroom at all. Um, now, there's a little bit of wide angle lensing going on when I get into the bedrooms here. I don't do a lot of that, but it's a small space. and I was moving so quickly. I wanted to make sure you got to see everything. Now, from there, we move up back into the Gray Wolf SE series. And I also want to ask your opinion on something. They were testing... Uh, the, the mirroring on those windows. Uh, normally, a Gray Wolf has no tint on the windows. They said, well, what if we did something different here? They, Cherokee loves to do different, and I applaud them for it. They said, what if we uh, go, go with that mirror front on it? Um, a lot of people that I talked to down at the display commented, you know, this is a, uh, it, it just shows fingerprints like crazy and it's kind of hard to clean. But I'm asking your input, when it's clean, it looks amazing. Now this is a new model, technically the 26 BRB, the B right back. Um, it is basically the Grey Wolf version of the Cherokee 274 BRB. Uh, the only real difference between a full Grey Wolf and a Cherokee is just the, the difference in the slide selection, but that has a cascade effect um, where since it doesn't have a ram bar that punches through the chassis, 
It also allows them to uh, to run uh, lower to the ground, to have a two-step instead of a three-step. It's lower overall clearance. So that's kind of the funny thing. Grey Wolf and Cherokee are basically the same RV, but Grey Wolf comes in a chunk less weight and money, literally just due to a different slide-out selection. So it's technically a new floor plan, but it is one that you've definitely seen before on our channel. It's one that I actually really, really like. And I'm excited to see how it does in the Grey Wolf series because I know that I'm sure like, look at the door, look at the door. Did you see that giant shade? If you didn't back up, please. Like uh, uh, they made like a triple size uh, viewing window in that, which I thought was cool. Of course, the black label edition available through the Grey Wolf series as well. Again, another... Uh, just go to standard here, the 22RR. Only note to really give you on the rear ramp models is just the fact that because it has a ramp on the back, they couldn't exactly ladder prep that thing. So they are still walkable roofs. It's just going to be one of the only members of their entire lineup that doesn't have a direct roof access point. Um, and again, just kind of giving you a quick look at this so that maybe you could see what the new stuff looks like even on some uh, old floor plans. They are, it's not implemented yet, but they are also working on implementing this neat thing where basically they will have an inverted outlet in their uh, bedrooms so that if you wanted to be able to run a fan or a CPAP machine or something like that, um, you know, in a Walmart parking lot, it, you'll you'll be able to do that and I'm not aware of any other stick and tin doing something like that now this is not a new model but it's the first time I've ever had a chance to put it on camera uh, 26 MBRR and this is another one of those that it just has a good living area setup like I could see somebody throwing a couple chairs over there or something like that and uh, when you unload your toys it just has a really nice big open feel um, the uh, thing you might have noticed there too is it had the um, LCI quick drop stabilizers. Cherokee hasn't had a chance to fully implement those yet, but that is intended to be the standard across the family. I'm, I'm pretty happy to see it. You see that little vertical uh, bar right there. That's another different kind of mount for like a, uh, a Bluetooth speaker thing. Now this one, I couldn't figure out what it was. That's what I was, I was shocked. I wanted to get a genuine reaction. What did I think about this? And I've seen this floor plan before, but only ever from one manufacturer in stick and tins. And uh, it's basically their version of the Transcend 265 bunkhouse. And frankly, I want as many people to build this layout as, as we can possibly get. But Cherokee, again, cranked the windows on this up to 11. I have not ever seen a stick and tin brand. Frankly, I don't know if I've seen a laminated brand with this severe level of window coverage. What's brilliant about this floor plan is that it's a couple's or er, family model, but it has like a couple's floor plan. So you have the ability to still like seat six butts in this thing if you have a family. You can feed everybody. You've got good prep space. You've got amazing window coverage again. But you can sleep everybody without needing to put everybody down on a dinette or anything like that. So it's it's a bunkhouse that actually has a living room that doesn't suck, you know? That's such, it seems like a weird, rare thing. Now they're doing a lot of this where they're adding that extra um, like dresser or closet storage into the bedroom. And again, that's one of those things where every time I see it, I'm like, shut up and take my money, basically. This is another new model that I thought was pretty cool, the 233MB. Um, Again, it's kind of a floor plan that I've seen before, but Cherokee found ways to do it a little different, incorporating like their little camp kitchen there, but awesome countertop prep space in something that still has a good living area, direct facing entertainment. You have sofa and dinette. Like there's a lot of good stuff going on in this one. Overall, I was very surprised. They even managed to, you know, incorporate that little electric space heat and Tootsie Toaster with that big pantry, the big fridge you like out of them and something that should work out in a half ton but on a stick and tin budget, instead of going, uh, you know, big money into laminated stuff, I, again, I'm I'm really impressed with some of their new floor plan selection, but that's what Cherokee's been very, very good about. They uh, put new and different exciting in the Cherokee lineup. They put really solid and proven in the Grey Wolf lineup. That's kind of the idea that they have here. And yet again, another new model. Now this will look largely familiar. Remember that bunkhouse we just looked at that I was gushing over? Well, if you like that layout, but you don't need the bunks, just chop them off. And that's exactly what this guy is right here. But again, doing things like incorporating their little um, 10 pounds of sugar in a five pound sack camp kitchen into this. You know, you've got a fridge out there, you've got a cooktop, uh, you've got an ice maker, you have a water source. Um, you know, they, they put a lot of space in this. But again, 
a little stick and tin trailer like this with all of this window coverage and big open space, I am really excited to actually get my hands on a couple of these and start cranking out some full videos. And as we go through this again, leave me little notes. If there's one you're like, man, I really want to see you go fully in depth on that, let me know. Now look on the right hand side, you see that black circle on the wall? That is their uh, control for the uh, Furion on-demand uh, water heater system that is now standard across the Cherokee family. So uh, basically, if you ever had to deal with a cold shower before, you're not going to have to do that anymore. Now that thing is like the USS Battleship Cherokee. But look at this, a full bed slide, floor to ceiling closets, walk around bed here in a travel trailer. It's very similar to a Catalina floor plan that we've uh, recorded before, but it's literally just their 274 rear kitchen Cherokee, just expanded and given a monster front closet and east-west bed slide. And that's literally all it is, and that's literally all it had to be. This is a fantastic model where um, you could tow it, certainly, but me, I look at that and I say, man, if I had a seasonal site, I'd just leave that park somewhere and I wouldn't touch the thing. You know, you could come and go whenever you wanted. It would just, it'd be simple, fun, and easy camping. Now wrapping things up, our final one today, this is a new model. And what they basically did is took three or four of their old campers and Frankensteined this stuff together. What's brilliant about this though, it has a private rear bunkhouse, but it gives us a big open living room and windows on the door side of the RV. Cherokee is not uh, ignorant to the fact that every time uh, a lot of manufacturers make a floor plan, everybody says, why do they keep putting the windows where all I got to do, or all I can do rather, is stare at the, uh, the, the the sweaty shirtless neighbor. And it's never the sweaty shirtless neighbor from the Swedish swimsuit team I've noticed. Anyway, regardless, my point here is that uh, by Doing what they've done, taking a living room from this and the bathroom from the 29 TE Grey Wolf that has triple entry doors, you can get to it from anywhere, anytime. They've created something essentially unique and I can't wait to see what you think about them. So once again, let me know what you see, what you like. Let me know which models I need to make sure I get recorded for you this year. And of course, basically, I'm going to do everything I can to capture everything I can for you all the time. But I do appreciate having a hit list you folks continue to guide this channel. If you like seeing these sneak peek videos, let me know. And until next time, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.